I'm Katrina Cotton for Invest in Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Bathurst Metals announced final assay results from the summer 2023 field exploration work on its 100% owned copper, silver, gold, cobalt Gela Lake property in central Nunavut. The Gela Lake property, located in a well-established mining area with significant producers, covers 3,116 hectares and overlies known copper, cobalt and gold mineralization and lies north of the company's flagship Turner Lake Gold Exploration Project. The work focused on geological mapping and rock and soil sampling along the Bathurst Fault to test for the extension of mineralization underneath cover to the west of a large Monzogabro intrusive, where the Monzogabro contacts Archaean metasediments and volcanics. Ten rock grab samples were collected mainly from quartz plus or minus carbonate, bearing subvertical structures with widths in excess of 4 meters in some areas and trending over 300 meters. Visible copper mineralization in the form of chalcopyrite and minor bornite was noted in most samples with rare cobalt blooms. Significant gold concentrations were also obtained in some samples with a moderate correlation to silver. 80 soil samples were collected along the eastern flank of the Monzagabro intrusive body where the regional Bathurst Fault is projected to occur. The soil samples were collected at 25 meter intervals and at various depths based on the soil profiles. Soil sample assay results confirm the soil profiles can be used to determine areas of interest as outcrop is limited away from the intrusive body and along the projected Bathurst Fault trend. The occurrence of gold plus bismuth together often indicates a structurally controlled setting and implicates the Bathurst Fault as a possible conduit and possible trap for mineralized fluids to migrate to the surface. Notable concentrations of copper were also found in both soils and rock samples. Additionally, higher concentrations of cobalt were also noted in two rock samples and were also coincident with elevated gold and silver concentrations. The mineralized trend can be traced for over two kilometers in a north-south direction, directly overlying the surface trace of the Bathurst Fault. The soil sampling found coincident gold-silver-copper bismuth mineralization. Greg Bronson, VP Exploration and Director, stated, our sampling and mapping work focus on ground over the regional Bathurst Fault that passes through Archaean metasediments and volcanics and on the Gela Lake property is adjacent to a large Monzogabro intrusion. This summer sampling work continued to find high copper and gold values coincident with high bismuth values, suggesting the presence of a strongly mineralized hydrothermal system likely related to the Monzogabro intrusive. Additionally, the occurrence of gold and copper with bismuth implies that structural traps for mineralization are likely associated with the Bathurst Fault. Our work continues to improve our understanding of the property geology and build on the exploration model for this very prospective property. The shares are currently trading at 8 cents. For more information on the company's other properties, please visit the company's website, BathurstMetalsCorp.com. Contact Harold Forsley, CEO, at info at BathurstMetalsCorp.com. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.